I S U P K. Hey, Slum, man. This is Priest Kevin the Dome Hall with the I S U P K. On the command of Johnny Allen in California, man. Telling all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. Understand with that? Shalom. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Prayed to him all the time but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Prayed to him all the time but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call to be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me but that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy. We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, coming out of 1 West 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yohanna. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group or Christian church or any other organization on the planet Earth, man. We're about to bring out today. What I'm about to bring out is how Christ is the hero. He's our hero. The 12 tribes of Israel, man. He's our hero and the, and the white man is the villain. He's the criminal in the earth, man. That's right. We about to bring that out, man. Let me get Job 9 to 24. Brother Michelle. Right? All the atrocities and the, and the crimes that we have committed on our people, man. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You understand? Read that. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You ask yourself, man, who was the earth giving it to? Who runs the earth? Who's in charge of these other nations? Who, who invades countries, man? Who tells you that you can eat when, when a people, uh, who, who, who tells you when a people, a nation of people can eat and when they can starve, man? Who makes all the laws in the earth? Who tries to push homosexuality on, on our people, man? Who tries to push abortion, man? giving you these different rights that's against the most high, right? The earth is getting, who has the most powerful military on the planet Earth, man? Who is the most powerful nation on the earth? Ask yourself that. Who brought us over here on them slave ships? You understand what I'm saying? Read. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Right. Can I get that, uh, that C.C. Bozier picture, Bubba Kishuk? Right. Who covered the faces of the judges, man? Who tried to make Christ out to be a, a, a white homosexual, man, a, a Roman? Caesar Bozier. You understand what I'm saying? This is not the description of Christ. He, that's who, the white man, he covered the faces of the judges, man. If you go to Revelation chapter 1, 13 and 15, it's the description of a black man, just like us, woolly head. You understand what I'm saying? The same skin of the color of bronze that it was put in the furnace, man. This is not Christ. This is an imposter, man, a homosexual, man. You understand what I'm saying? This is the devil, man. This image you see, this is the false image of Christ. He's a homosexual, man. And this is not Christ. Christ was a black man from the tribe of Judah. You understand what I'm saying? Read. Cut him, cut. If not, where and who is he? Right. If, if the white man is not the devil, then tell me where is he? Who is he? Who was the earth giving it to, man? Who rules this earth? Who blood show forth through their skin, man? Who murders? Who, who go to different lands and just murder a whole, a whole nation of people, man? Who rapes? Mur who, who steals, kills, and destroys? Who going through the earth? Who messing up the, uh, the, o the ozone layer? The water, you know what I'm saying, the seas. All the water in the earth, man. You understand what I'm saying? Read. Verse 25. Now my days are swifter than a post. They... 
Now, my days are swifter than they post. They flee away. They see no good. What we bringing out is that the white man is the devil, man. Right. And Christ is a black man. He's our hero for the 12 tribes of Israel, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He didn't come and die for everybody. He only died for a Pacific people. You understand what I'm saying? And he didn't die for the white man. When he come back to earth, he's going to destroy the white man. He's going to destroy America, man. You understand what I'm saying? The white man is a liar. He's a deceiver. That's what the, the definition of a devil is. He lies to us. You know what I'm saying? Get us to vote for different presidents in the, in the, in the, uh, to put them in the White House to put them over us as he's our leader, as he's our king. The white man is not our leader. He's not our king. He's our enemy. That's what the Bible says. Deuteronomy 28, 68. We were sold to our enemies for bombs, men, and bomb women. And if you don't believe it, if you don't believe that, you ain't nothing but a bootlegging Uncle Tom Negro, man. That's right. And you love your enemy. You love the white man. You love and you smile when the, when the white man shoot our people in the back. You love that. You love to see our people in, in mourning, in sorrow, man. You are Uncle Tom. You need to wake up out of the matrix, man. Wake up out of that sleep, man. You in deep sleep. Give me uh, Psalms 10, chapter 10, verse 5 and 6. You know what I'm saying? The white man will never have any love for you in his heart, man. The Bible says he has a perpetual hatred. He has had a perpetual hatred for our people. The white man know who he is. You understand what I'm saying? He our goddamn enemy. I don't care what you say or how you the expression on your face is, man. He's our enemy, man. Read that for me, brother. Psalms, chapter 10, verse 5. His ways are always grievous. His ways is always grievous towards blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. He always, his punishments is always severe. He'll pull you over for a traffic stop and wind up shooting you in the back of your damn head, man. Right. His ways are grievous. They are severe, his punishments. You understand what I'm saying? He's a monster, man. All the, he's a atrocity in the earth, man. You understand what I'm saying? He's a beast. You know what I'm saying? He don't have no love in his heart, man. You gotta wake up, black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man. Come get you a fly. Come to class, man. Learn these law, statutes, and commands. You understand what I'm saying? Read that. The judgments are far above out of his sight. Ju the, the, the most highest judgments, he don't think because of the laws, the, 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 the crimes that he commit on black, Hispanic, and Native American people. He don't think that the Most High is not going. He think the Most High is not going to judge him for that. He's so proud. He walk around with his head to the sky, looking like a dumb dog walking down the street. You understand what I'm saying? Thinking that the Most High is not going to punish him for the crimes that he's committing on his people, man. You understand what I'm saying? Read. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Right. For his enemies, for him being the most powerful nation on the earth. The ones that he destroys, the ones that he kills, the ones that he steals from. You understand what I'm saying? The ones that he commit crimes against, his enemies, he walk around with it. He, 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 he'll shoot you in the back or shoot you in the head and then stand over your body with his, with his boot on your back. Like, he, like, he's some, like he's some mighty man. Like he's not a coward. You understand what I'm saying? The white man is a coward and the white man is a devil, man. He's a devil, man, and the God and God hates the white man. You understand what I'm saying? He hates him. He hates him more than we do. You understand? He hates us. He hates him more than we do, man. You got some. You got some that's loving. You, you got some of our people that love the white man. They love him. They gonna love him to the death. But the, the Bible says otherwise that God hates the white man, and I hate him too. I hate. I hate him. I hate what God hates, and I love what God loves. Right. You understand? I don't hate him because of the color of his skin. I hate him for the crimes that he can, has committed on our people, man. That's, right. that's why I don't, that's why I can't stand him. You understand what I'm saying? Read, bro. I shall not be moved, oh, so like Verse 6. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. Right. So like he has said in his heart that he shouldn't, that he shall not be moved. He don't think that he's going to come out of the power that he is. The same way the Most High rose up Pharaoh when we was in Egypt under Pharaoh, he rose free uh, Egypt up uh, Pharaoh and made him the most powerful, made that the most powerful kingdom on the planet Earth. You understand? In that time, just to bring him down to the ground, just to show his might, his power. 
And that's the same, that's the same thing that's gonna happen to the white man's king. That's the same thing that's gonna happen to America when our king and our savior, man. And now when he come back to America to destroy America, man. You understand what I'm saying? America is going into third war, third, the, the world, the world's third war. And it's gonna be destroyed by nuclear warfare. That's what the Bible says. Thus saith the Lord, that's what the word of the most high says. You understand what I'm saying? Read. For I shall never be in adversity. Right. He don't think, he don't think that he's gonna go through things. He don't think that his nation is gonna be in sorrow, man. He don't think that they're gonna right. go through the pain that we went through. Right. They gonna go through devil right. 10 times more than what we go, went through. We served 400 years plus years of slavery. He's gonna serve all eight plus. And after that, the most high is gonna wipe him off the face of the earth, That's man. Right. You ain't gonna be able to see a white man. Right. Yeah. The only time you're gonna be able to see a white man is, is, is in the wax museum downtown, right. man. That's right. He's gonna be made out of wax. Right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Go back up a verse, brother, and, and, and read that for me. Verse five, uh, verse five. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Verse six. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. He don't think that America is going to get destroyed, man. Yeah, the most high made y'all the most powerful nation on the earth. For now, until Christ come back, he made y'all the most powerful kingdom and the most powerful nation on the earth just to come back, for Christ to come back, a black man from the tribe of Judah to destroy America, man. That's the only reason why you in power. We put out, we, we the reason why we, that y'all over our, us right now, man. We sinned against the most high. But he he has he sent Christ back, man, to redeem us, man. And he gonna redeem us up out of this hell. You understand what I'm saying? And he gonna come back and destroy your nation, man. Destroy America. Destroy all these heathen nations, man. He gonna put y'all in y'all place where y'all belong under our boot, man. You understand what I'm saying? Drop that. Give me Job chapter uh, chapter 12. Start in verse, verse six. You understand what I'm saying? We come out here to teach our people, man. To get them up out of this hell, man. To get them to turn back to the laws of the Bible, man. That's the only way we're going we gonna to get up out of this hell, man. You understand what I'm saying? Read that for me, bro. Starting at verse 6. Job, chapter 12, verse 6. The tabernacles of, ro of robbers prosper. Right. The tabernacles, the tabernacles of robbers prosper, man. Who the people that robbed us of, out of our land? Out of our nationality, man, knowing who we were, knowing the God that we used to worship. They prosper, man. No, he said who prospering in the earth right now? It ain't us. We the poorest on the earth. We live in, we fill up all the ghettos. You understand what I'm saying? We on the corner begging, begging for change. Don't have a place to sleep. Don't have anything to eat. That's us, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Who, who trying to find who, who trying to find a better place, a better place, you know what I'm saying, to raise their family? You got the Mexicans trying to cross the border. You know what I'm saying? And they, they stealing them off the border. They robbing them, stealing them. Robbing them out of their, for they, from their kids, man. Stealing their kids away from them. Putting them in concentration camps. They prospering, man, and they getting rich all for us, man. You understand what I'm saying? Real. And they that provoke God are secure. Right. They, they are, everything that they do is against God. They provoke God. They provoke the most high to anger, man. And they, and Salaka, read that one more time, brother. And they that provoke God are secure. Right. Them that, the, the, the white man that provoke God, he is secure, man. Look at his nation. Look at America, man. Look how great and powerful America is. They prosper. You understand what I'm saying? Read that. Start back with the uh, 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 let's see. Verse six. The tabernacles of ro of robbers prosper. The Bible is telling you that he's a robber, man. That's all he do is go to go to a, a different land and, and, and bomb and, and pillage and steal the resources. He's a robber. Anything that you create, he steal it from you. Peanut butter, electricity, the wheel. He robbed, he took everything from you, man, and made it his home. He tried to take Christ, he tried to take the Bible. But the Most High wouldn't allow him to do that, man. The Most High raised 
put the priests and the prophets back in the earth so we can wake our people up. He wouldn't allow him to do that, man. This one thing that he can't stay, take from us, that's the spirit of the most high, man. His word. Read. It, it's like it. And they that provoke God are secure, into whose hand God bringeth abundantly. Right. He brings, he brings, they are rich abundantly, man. You understand what I'm saying? The most high think he blessed because his nation is great. Because America is the most greatest kingdom on the earth. He think he's great, man. He think everything he has is is, is because of what? Because of his own power. The most high made him great. The most high, the most high is making him rich abundantly, man. You understand what I'm saying? He has no power. The only power, the reason why he has power is because the most high gave him that power. Only for only for a limited time, man. Only for a limited time he gonna rule in the earth. But not when Christ come back. You understand? Please. Verse 7. But ask now the beast, and they shall teach thee, and the and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. Right. If you ask the beast of the earth, they gonna tell you who the who the devil is, That's man. Right. If you ask the fowls of the air, they gonna tell you who the devil is. Right? They gonna tell you who the devil is. You think them animals up in the DC Zoo wanna be in the cage? Right. Hell no, they don't. They don't wanna be in there. They, look, they the most depressed animals on the planet Earth, man. You can go in there, they look depressed. They look like they just wanna die. Because the white man has stole them from their natural habitat and locked them in cages. How they did us. They treat us just like animals. They treat us worse than the animals in the zoo. You understand what I'm saying? Read. All I wanted was to be a gangster. I ain't lying, I was close to dying. Knew I wanted to live, but I wasn't trying. I was defiant, not knowing that this ain't how we live. This just how they design. Cause when you win them streets, you get more endearment. They don't tell you, gonna be on papers and no restrictions. My father said I hard had to make a soft ass. I didn't care, I wanted fear when I walked past. In a place where a black man's blood is cheap. I thank the Lord for the day I was on Lake Street Pissing in the cup, back and forth to court Found a DC school, I swear it felt like I crawled on that fucking porch The Lord said, my sheep, they ain't hear my voice Ask me why I'm UPK, I told them I ain't have a choice They said God ain't 50-50 and what's gonna come to pass The Lord